Test one, test two. Test one, test two. Coming to you live here from the Village Green at Uni of New South Wales. This is MPL New South Wales women's action between the uh, newly promoted University of New South Wales and the Bulls Academy. Cool. Hey, could you do me a favour? Could you just read me out the team lists off my phone? Because it's impossible to do this at the same time whilst holding it. So I was up to Sonia who? Murphy. Give me one second. Tiana. P-E-T. Petkovsky. Good name. One second, one to Neg Grow. Yep. One second, Chris to. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and Montagut, yeah, Montagut. Montagu, yeah. Is that the starting? Is it? And then one more. 88, which is. It's a bit easier to pronounce. Ladies for that one. Liz, Liv, Livaskovic, Livaskovic. Yep. Seventeen is Hannah. C H A R K A. There you go. Jared, yep. Alex and uh, Dra, yeah, as I say. Hutchinson, oh, yeah. Elise. Alessia, yeah. Dopane, Dopane. Marina, Medaglia. We scroll up to these guys. These guys will be a bit easier. Can go past the coaches. I don't care about them. Like Gray or Cray? Yeah. Four is Elizabeth, Jessica, the same. Coco Discipio. Seventeen was that? Yep. He's <laughs> Volkanovski. at the bench, sorry. I oh, know one more. There's one more. What was the other one, sorry? 21? Oh, 31, sorry. Giovanna Vidal. 
the IDAL. Numbers. So I'm like that. Thank you very much. Made my life a lot easier. So bet three so five, you can actually bet on this now. What's the rule of commentators putting a bet on? <laughs> <laughs> because I tell you now, <laughs> I think I think I could I could t always guarantee the emerging Jets will probably lose. <laughs> Four, five, three goals, you would say? Yes, I think I will. They stop that in. That's interesting. They stop that in. I'm assuming that. How dare we win three nine?
Very good Sunday afternoon to all your football fans around the world in Australia and here, especially in New South Wales. This is match day three, live from the Village Green for the National Premier League Women's Competition between the University of New South Wales and the Bulls Academy. Sure to be a fascinating contest, sixth versus third respectively. Two teams undefeated to start the season and it's sure to be first their real challenge since the start of the new year. Coming into this, both sides are looking in fresh condition and they're about to get underway here for you this afternoon. My name's Don Mazzuto. It's a pleasure to be here with you once again to take you through this great competition and all the action that we have for you throughout the next 90 minutes. Let's go through those teams for you. Let's go to the away side first in the Bulls Academy. Starting off in number three is Elizabeth Gray. Four is Jessica Seaman. Eight is Daniela Naimi. Ten is Tamarez Souza. Twelve is Alyssa Rose. Thirteen is Erica De Sicio. Sixteen is Isabella Coco De Sipio. Seventeen is Isabella Volkanovski. Eighteen, Alessandra Vale. Twenty, Amber Luchmey. Maya. Thirty-one is Giovanna Vidal. And on the bench you have nineteen in Anik. Annika Corrie, 21 in Chloe Tezeros, 22 in Poppy Davidson, 97 Olivia Leazak, 98 Lizzie Morris and 99 Jasmine Melly to round out the team for you there. And with the home side, you have Tiana Robertson in goals, the number one, Alira Toby, the top goal scorer for the newly promoted Uni of New South Wales side, and number four. Number five is Leah Puxty, six is Chloe Smith, eight is Sonia Murphy, nine and up top is Tiana Petkovsky, 14 is Jess Mullins, 15 Sabine Montenegro, 20 is Cassandra Christopher, 33 is Margot Montagu, 38 and 88 I should say is Sarah Moore. Getting on the bench for you today is Amanda Leviskevich in 7, 13 is Amy Humphrey, 17 is Hannah Charrick, 21 is Alexandra Hinson, 24 is Alicia Del Pane, and 29 is Karina Medaglia for you for the uni of New South Wales team gotten off to a great start as I mentioned both these sides particularly the newly promoted uni team who come into this new competition with you know fresh hopes of staying in it for more than just the season that they've come in for and they've started it off brilliantly results were a draw and a win picking up their first win though last week against the uh, emerging Jets but drawing with the Football New South Wales Institute the week prior whereas it was the uh, other way around for the Bulls they've uh, undefeated in both games they've uh, won against the Spartans and the Football New South Wales Institute games do you expect them to win and games you expect Uni to get points from too so this will be respectively both their biggest challenges in this game three so let's see what both these teams have on offer and where they are in this season about to get underway. Referee has the 
whistle to blow and he has done so and we are underway it is the uni running right to left in the yellow and black combination of shirt and shorts where it is the bulls in the white and black stripe jersey running from left to right uni get us underway here with toby alira on the ball switch across is nice here and it's found a bit of room for then for Montenegro to burst down the uh, left-hand side. She's got a number on her chasing defender in Daniela Naimi and has caught one the first corner of the game inside 60 seconds. But the referee has pointed to the goalposts and it will be a goal kick. finally get ourselves back on the way as there's a slight moment ball goes high and long it has got a little windy down here at the at the green inside the heart of the Randwick based university so expect anything to go long to go sailing particularly for the the Bulls a little tougher for uni to break through but they've got away with it on that occasion free kick is given as Volkanovski bundles over a lira to get underway with it straight away pass though cut out by seaman a rock at the back for the balls they go along again testing that breeze under pressure though is Robertson Uni press really well and unlucky not to get away on the break in the end it's going to be Miami that gets the opportunity but she's called up for offside start from both sides we need to Get the ball moving and get on the front foot early. Play direct. Woodson playing a somewhat treacherous pass. Gets away with it. Though. Gray brings it forward and now they can surge down the left hand touchline. Buchmeyer on the inside. Still with the balls here. Decipio having to retreat back as far as Vale. We'll have our first opening shot of the day, but it won't be challenging Robertson in goal. Okonoski with an ambitious effort. Ball goes up high in the air, but side flag again on, even on the balls. touch let her down forcing her to retreat Robertson almost acting as a fifth center back as she's that high up the field that's a nice layoff here great opportunity for the uni tie to fashion an opportunity it's fallen as far as Montenegro she's had to retreat momentarily and they go further back to Puxty and her switch of play doesn't work out and it's picked up by Volskanovski but couldn't find which Meyer clearance by Mullins wasn't particularly effective but she gets away with it and then their home side just settles it down Row 
Rose finding a way to get it to Gray, who's come up from left back and tried to get it onto her right foot and waltzes back to the fullback position. And as a fellow fullback myself, this is why we don't often shoot from that range. Clearance is poor. Balls pick it up. She's not punished immediately. Here's Rose now. Wants to play in. Luchemeyer, but it's a little heavy. Stood long and high in the air by Montagu. It's awkward to deal with, but Siskio has done really well under pressure. The danger's not over yet. Pressure from Uni Hood once again on this left hand side. To Negro. Back to Murphy's. Found a way through. Can't find the pass through though. Malkanowski well, lays it off nicely. That's a good touch through from Luchmeyer. But Decipio was a good yard or two offside. Came through and collected. Robertson, who is feeling that one. Puxty sets herself well. Strolls forward. Let's get it back for Montenegro. Sort of playing as a roaming fullback. Not really confined to any kind of position. Maybe couldn't get it through, but. Montagu picks it up. The balls can break. They decide to reset. Puxty in well to intercept. Yep, throw the other way there. The Unisiders, they look to break. a gap. Volkanovski tries to pinch it off Toby. Doesn't work. Alira Toby plays it out wide nicely here to Christopher. Just kept it in. Doesn't get the bounce as the backtracking Alyssa Rose wins the throw for the away side. Balls. It would have been unfair as it was drilled straight into Rose from a very short distance. Oh. Ten minutes gone here at uh, the Village Green. It's been played at a decent pace so far. No real opportunity to speak of, but that's a giveaway by. Naimi, again, Montenegro thoroughly involved, gets us her side of throw. Here's Murphy. 
Murphy. All the way through, but this is broken very kindly, and then the layoff by Smith is just a little short. Doesn't find the intended target. That could have been an opportunity for the home side had it been taken. I have to say that uh, the quality in the final final third has not been as effective as it needs to be to put some points through. Here's that chance again. It's the striker De Scipio tries to time her run. Doesn't on that occasion. It was closer though. coming all the way up almost to the center circle there's a lovely ball through from uh, Toby chasing here Christopher gets it across but <laughs> taken between the six nice win though by Mullins just to get it forward Montenegro does really well to intercept. Bukowski goes to Toby. He's looking for options. She goes herself. It's a wonderful effort and it's a wonderful goal. They look to their top scorer and boy does she deliver. The home side get themselves on the board first with a marvellous strike. Uni of New South Wales 1, Bulls FC 0. We were just talking about that quality in the final third. And who was going to put their hand up to deliver it? And it was that star player for the home side who gets her third goal of the season well, that was a incredibly brave save by Tiana Robertson in goals De Scipio had gone through again called for offside and thundered a shot into the head of the keeper who is going to need a minute to catch her breath and get her bearings. Seems okay, which is great to see. and doesn't find the intended target, goes out of play. Here's Toby. Now Montagut. She's crunched by Sousa hasn't really been involved so far for the Bulls. Okanowski loses out there. Here's Petakowski, rolls it back. Can't get the shot through though. Smith had an effort. And this will spin almost out of play, but it's eventually kept in. Difficult to deal with, but in the end it was well kept. a free kick as Ipio goes straight into the back of Montenegro. And 
Smith. Goes back to Toby, who doesn't go from a shot. For out this occasion. Nice touch by Mullins. Still Smith here, tries to break through. Wiggles away from a couple of tackles. Still with you, and here's Petkovsky's looking for an option. Montenegro tries to drill it in centrally, doesn't get it through. On to Gooch. Smith, Petkovsky still going. Falls for the free kick, doesn't get it. So trying to break with a bit of speed, but they just don't seem to have it at the moment. Playing that traditional. 4-4-2 is just leaving him a little short. Free kick is given no as Puxty goes into the back of Decipio. Ball forward has found its way through to Decipio. Across the face of goal, and Schmeyer was there. Huxley was there to send it out for a corner, and this will be the first one of the afternoon. Can the Bulls conjure up here? Volkanovski goes across the take. Volkanovski's corner, it's chipped towards the back post. Gray was there, bobbling around the six yard box, but eventually Uni are able to clear. Rose turns really nicely, then can't find Volkanovski as he plays the ball behind her. who got a little greedy, who looks Meyer, who's got plenty of space and pace, but just slips. Puxty, cool as you like, just rolls the ball in and around the pressure. It allows to set up the... Uh, Attack for Uni. That ball through was almost delightful, but it just didn't quite find the angle from Smith. Here's Alira again. Lovely ball through. It's Christopher. Chased by Gray, who does well to just marshal it out of play. Seaman is down on the ground here for Bulls Academy and Got plenty of the interchange warming up. And it is going to be what looks like a change here. She does have that right leg bandaged up quite tightly which could only indicate it's a quad or hamstring injury
the uh, wayside need is a key loss at the back. Certainly a hobble on the ball centre half. It looks like that change will be made. a premature end to what would have been a good start for Jessica Seaman. Just get you that change as soon as we can. It is Jasmine Melly who's come on gone into left back with Elizabeth Grave slipping into centre back to retreat as we are back underway here at the Village Green after the uh, injury and substitution of Jessica Seaman. You are just joining us. It is University 1, Academy 0. Goal courtesy of a long-range strike by Alira Toby. does really well and then Rose does equally as good they get the throw here the uni side excuse me the bull side it's Naomi now stuck in a corner oh that's wonderful skill Rose Back to Naomi, back to Rose, but she's in an offside position. Well, the build-up was lovely. Unfortunately, the, the rules of the game squandered what was a nice build-up. It's Puxty. Goes long. But not as effective as you would have hoped as... Sarah Moore tries to uh, get on the end of it, but her shoulder gets in the way of letting the ball run through. She's been sort of deprived of some decent service. This is an opportunity now. Lovely ball through. Here is Moore. She just can't find the far post. Montague with the vision and the touch to put her through, but finish, which was from a tight angle. Not quite what was required from an accuracy point of view, but lovely build up again from the Uni of New South Wales. Bale. To Melly and her first touch is not what she'd hope for. She runs straight into a couple of Bulls defenders. Toby evades and then rips it out to Puxty. 
pace from the Astro has deceived her. And here's this chance now. Put to Supio, who's onside. He's trying to find an opening. Gets it stuck under her feet. Not once, but twice. Still has it. Still finds a way through. The ball's going to come up to Naomi, but Montenegro steps into. Just clear it away, and that's a golden opportunity wasted for the Bulls. CPA just couldn't get the ball out of her feet. Here's Susan now. To CPO again. She can't break through. Moore will break away for Bulls. Then Montagu. Out to Smith. She goes back right. Looks for that option. It's a lovely ball over the top to Christopher, who's got two in the middle. Moore and Petkoski. But it's eventually cleared brilliantly by Desiskio. And then Volkanovski gets it out to Souza. Naimi now can bring it forward. She's looked good out here on the wing. She cuts back on the inside, going centrally. She just can't find Desiskio as Toby steps in. She will do the sensible thing and just send it back to her keeper for a reset. Long over the top here to Petkoski, but Sissio is there, but it isn't super effective. come again from Pekowski rolls away from a couple of challenges but it's greedy and now the balls will break lovely layoff by Lutmeyer to Decipio, cuts back on the inside she's got Rose but she goes herself and it wasn't a bad effort at all Nana Robertson gets across well but can only see it behind for a corner Of they've been well on top in this first half an hour. They can't afford to get caught on the break like that. And do all the hard work, which they almost did, and still have to defend. Lovely whipping ball in a graze there! And could have put a finishing touch on it. Well, anything, any sort of contact would have seen that probably go in the back of the net. But it's Uni that dodge the incoming bullet and then retain their lead. Goes long, but Gray's there. Mullins picks it up. Montagu is pressured and loses it. Who's Souza? Needs options. Switches it really nicely now. But the Siskio who tries to go first time, not the right option, gets away with it. Then tries to go to Naimi. Can't find her. That's two bad passes. To Negro. Pounded, loses the ball, the Scipio's onside. Still has it here, Naimi now. Okonoski goes for a speculator. And that, uh, to be honest with you, didn't look neither like a shot or a cross. Caught between two minds, the centre midfielder. Really thought about shooting first before changing her mind for a dink over the defensive line in the end it went sailing out of play Puxty now straight through the middle this uh, Montenegro again picked up a roaming position Now. 
down the touchline, but ball forward and it goes as far as the goalkeeper. Nice flick on there from Montagu. It's, uh, Millie collides with Toby, and that's a nice ball through to Moore, who rolls away from Gray, but can't get away from her the second occasion. to Moore, he won't keep this in, Melly gets uh, body in the way, sees it out for a goal kick, apart from that first goal, which was magical to say the least, there hasn't been much else to talk about here in the uh, first half, match day three between Uni of New South Wales and Bulls FC. Both sides undefeated to start this season, so a chance that neither one of them could lose that record today. The stance is going to be the Bulls, but plenty of time still remaining here. They have worked their way back into the contest after a rather sluggish start. A couple opportunities to Decibio, who just hasn't uh, been able to get into the game as much as she would like and try to. This ball over the top is to Decipio and he's on side. Gets three uni players. She eventually wins the corner. Just getting it stuck under her feet a couple of times, but the effort is... 11 out of 10 from the uh, striker. Okonoski oh, across the take again. First delivery and second delivery have both been Pretty consistent and on the money. But one might call that one. Curse of the commentator, as it doesn't even get into the field of play. between the two teams. You need to win that uh, miniature battle. Puxley streams forward. Might find Montenegro, but Aimi, who's been very strong out of left wing today, right wing I should say, intercepted it. for the home side. Gray now for the Bulls. That's a Melly who tries to steal a yard. Runs out of room. Long throw to the top here. Finds more. Goes back to Christopher who leads it into the path of Toby. But the uh, midfielder was a little flat-footed. Puxty just goes along, but Gray's there. Towards the uh, Bulls by Murphy. Just managed to wheel their way out of play. And then get a leaving free kick. But Kosky bundles over Rose. Long 
Tanaimi. Allegro got a touch on that. Which was a neutral result for the wayside. Let's just roll. Negro. And so caught in a corner. She manages to get the ball across. Roberts is there. Miniature spill. Manages to regather and then have a few words for Sousa who was lurking. A poor giveaway. The bounce of the ball has worked kindly for Uni in the end. Murphy guilty of just drilling it into Souza. It could have gone anywhere. It's fortunate that Mullins just had a yard of space in front of Souza to get there and team up with Robinson to clear. In the end, there's no immediate punishment. Ball is deflected out for a uni throw. Ah, to Souza. Balkanowski goes long and high up to Naimi, who tried to get her head on it. Robinson's out to get this. Does well to smother the ball. But dealt with easily by the centre defender for all the Bulls. Brings it forward and gets it to Luchmeyer. That's a nice ball. Luchmeyer now one-on-one -on -one with Christopher. Gets to the byline. Will keep this in. Gets it across to Naimi, but Montenegro was there to see it away. And that's a bit more like it by the, the Bulls. They want to play direct through Luchmeyer. The former Spartan. short, teams up with Rose, then get to the cross, it's Montenegro there again, bounce the ball, is it favourable, Volkanovski tries to thread it through, can't find the angle and the passage to one of her forward players. Threw it over everyone's head. Koski. Tries to uh, bring it forward and with the combination of more, they've managed to find a throw further up the field. Just five minutes remaining in the first half. All to either team will be monumentous, really. Second goal would be almost a too big a bridge to cross or mount to climb for the away side. Whereas if a goal is going for the Bulls, confidence would skyrocket. Scipio trying to bring it down. Does well on a couple of occasions, eventually cut off by Montagu. Huxton <laughs> again, just 
calmly evades the onrushing defender. Now she can storm forward is Montagu. Back to Puxty. Keep the ball here now. Union settle things down. Back to where they were once before. It's not a good ball forward and it's picked up by Volkanovski. Switched by Rose, that's to Naimi. Does well to bring it down. Manages to evade Montenegro. Then cut back on the inside. Find Luchmeyer. To Melli. He's got an opportunity to get the ball across. Does so, but goes out of play. Better build up though from the Bulls. just hoisting that downfield. No care in the world. There's Vale. The ball right into the, uh, the cauldron there, but Rose did really well to uh, keep possession under the pressure of three or four players. Playing out. Finds Rose, lays it off nicely to Fiskio. Nice ball over the top there from Volkanovski, but it's Puxty who's there to head away. That's a nice turn by Smith. Tries to get it to Toby, can't do so. Melly finds Souza. Tries to get it into Naimi. Just hit slightly too hard, and Robinson gathers gratefully should have a few minutes added on here to the injury of Jessica Seaman Keeps that in, but he's pressured by Montagu, but she is uh, hounded and gives the ball away. And now Souza finds Volkanovski up to Rose, who's got room to move into. Didn't choose to go out wide to her right back. Chooses to switch it out to the left, which Maya picks it up. Nice to keep it in. Does so, and then Gray just goes long. Mullins just heads back downfield. Referee will come back for the free kick as Meyer is accused of thundling over the uni centre half. Gray's heads out of play. As the ball is played directly upfield. A chance for the uni side, but Koski can't put the ball either side of Giovanna Vidal in goals. 
who's had a relatively quiet first half herself. <coughs> and a goal to Toby in the chance to more prior the two notable opportunities to speak of. Here's Decipio, rolls in nicely, still Decipio, tries to get in, looks mild. Well, the idea was great, but not on the same wavelength with her strike partner. Folks, I'm not too sure how long we will have added on because we were about four minutes ago about to head into added time. Now we have eight minutes on the scoreboard here at uh, the Village Green, so timing is a little off. Well, no sooner do I mention it, the uh, whistle is blown here for the first half at the Village Green of Uni of New South Wales for match day three between the Uni of New South Wales Football Club and the Bulls Football Club. 1-0 after an intriguing first half. A wonder strike by Alira Toby. Set the Bulls on, uh, excuse me, Bulls on their way to a first loss of the season. And a undefeated start for the Uni Football Club. And there is still plenty of time to go. This game has been tightly fought. There hasn't been too many other opportunities to speak of bar a couple of attempts for Decipio for the Bulls and then Moore and Petkoski for the home side with an extra 45 minutes to come and the teams both now you would think warmed up this game is surely to light up in the second half we'll be back on the Football New South Wales YouTube channel very shortly to take you through the second half here at the Village Green.
Good to have you back here on uh, match day three of the National Premier League Women's Competition from the Village Green here at New University, New South Wales in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. You are here to watch Union New South Wales FC go up against the Bulls FC in a, what is a, undefeated matchup between uh, two sides that are really looking to make their name in this competition in 2024. So far, it's the home side that have got the better start between the two. Goal to Toby Alira, the difference between the two sides. Outside of that, though, it's been relatively cagey between the two. Perhaps with the uh, clock now becoming a major factor in the game. We'll see the game open up ever so slightly. Particularly as the Bulls will need to come out and make a statement and get themselves on the score sheet if they are to uh, find their way to three points this afternoon. The uh, uni side has come out along with the referees. Oh, here come the, uh, the Bulls. I don't know if there's any changes uh, on either side. So far it looks uh, relatively the same for uni. Bulls will let you know as they come onto the field. They already have had to make one change with Jasmine, excuse me, Jessica Seaman going off. She was replaced by Jasmine Melly. So far it looks like both sides will Come back on as they went off. <coughs> so if you are joining us on the uh, YouTube channel for Football New South Wales, you can catch a plethora of games that are currently live. that uh, there is a boat of games live but the, uh, one of them has uh, been rained out so we do apologise if you haven't been able to uh, watch Illawarra play Gladesville right now you can catch uh, the Institute up against the Rams the Jets up against the Spartans of course here at the Village Green between University of New South Wales and Bulls FC back on the way here for the second half Bulls kicking off They're on the front foot early. Gray to find Millie, who's uh, made a surging run. Rose back to Millie. Wants to take on T Toby. Wants to. Uh, Get her side further up the field. Here's Rose, so just uh, down to Lutchmeyer. It's caught in this corner, though. Currently, here's Volkanovski. Can't break free. And it's the Bulls that will counter. Negro with a burst of speed. It's cut off by uh, the Siskio, and she wins the free kick as she's nudged in the back by a Bulls uh, attacker. Try 
goes long. Bounce of the ball is unkind for Mullins. Lutschmeyer, lovely stop. Here's Lutschmeyer! That's just brilliantly saved and then tucked away for a corner. Excellent stuff by Tiana Robinson in goals, who got down low really well. Lutschmeyer getting herself into the game early in the second half and almost producing a moment of magic for her side had it not been for an excellent piece of keeping probably didn't get the power that she was looking for that lack of sting just allowing Robinson to get down and get across danger not over yet though Vulcan she hit the corner it's nicely weighted it's right in the cauldron once again but the ball's still with it sorry excuse me the Unisite deal with it really well. Here's Rose. Nice, amazing run from her, but she's uh, lost out. Nelly then comes across to try and take possession. Doesn't get the free kick, and Moore is onside here. Christopher streaming down from right back. Can't bring it under control. And now Gray will play it upfield to Decipio but it doesn't have the whip on it and it just bounces out for a throw in lightning starts at this second half I knew that the balls would have to come out and play Schmeier who does have three goals so far since coming across from the Spartans like a really astute bit of business from the academy team. Almost had a fourth in as many games. Souza staying strong. Good battle there with uh, Smith. Melly just tries to whip it in. Scipio gets there at the front post, gets it across the face of goal, Naomi's there. Here's Sousa now in the box, trying to wiggle her way through and eventually it's hacked away. Only as far as Rose now. Still going here, Rose. Tries to find Luchmeyer, could break through to Sousa, still Luchmeyer. Naomi just uh, goes wide, goes around Montenegro and then gets a corner again for her side out on the far touchline where the, uh, the dugouts are Whips it high again. And there's Sicipio. Robinson can only just palm it clear. Luchmeyer back to Volkanovski. Doesn't make its way through to Gray. The balls can clear. Moore is uh, surrounded and eventually felled. Huxley goes long. That's a nice flick on by Montagu, but Moore is aggrieved, she's called offside so far it's the away team that has come out of the blocks absolutely flying, which uh, we knew they had to Meyer tries to flick it on it's Christopher who steps in just doesn't stay in the field of play Lay off by Sousa to Volkanovski, who then cuts inside and feeds it out to the Siskio. The pass is short, and it's Montenegro again who steps in and bundles her way down the touchline. Still going here, Montenegro. Still going, and Vale comes across and crunches her. And he is a judge to have given the free kick. No, referee keeps the uh, whistle in his pocket. I thought he had, and then. Wins a throw anyway in a 
very similar position to where she was tackled. Poor clearance from Vale. Huxty, usually so accurate in this uh, matchup with her passes, but gives that one away. And then there's a uh, free kick given here. Volkanovski is unhappy with the call. Remember, he's going to have a word with that. Perhaps a uh, bit of fact check. Well received. Man in the middle. Free kick here now for home side. Toby standing over it. Your players sent forward here for uni. Goal here will really dampen the uh, fight back fire. Here it comes. Whips it towards that penalty spot. Vale gets a touch on it. It's away nicely, and Luke Meyer will see to it that she boosts it clear. There's a lot of wind here now at uh, the uni ground. Mullins does get it away eventually. Smith to uh, Christopher, who can't keep it in. Set clear. Scipio holding it up against... Uh, Humphreys, but doesn't get it through on that occasion. But uh, Christopher gives it back to the Bulls. Volkanovski switches it across now to Gray centrally. She dinks it wide out to Discipio now. Discipio cuts back on the inside, still going. But a tough view comes across and manages to get a really important tackle in and win the goal kick. Referee is going to have a word to Melissa Rose. Tamira Souza. A few players being a little lippy with the uh, person in charge. Souza gets the head on it as Robinson's. Uh, Clearance is uh, a little short. Throws back to Melly into Souza. Volkanovski, nice here from the academy side. Shmaya gets there for pace as the uh, pass was dropped a little short. Naimi now up against Puxty. Still Naimi trying to get the. Uh, Ball across the uh, fated goal. She did really well. She's just marshaled out of play eventually. It looks like we are going to get a substitution for the home side. Margot Montagu is uh, coming off. She is replaced by Amanda Lavaskovic. Who's going to go and stand right up top here? <coughs> Who's going to get called back here for the uh, foul from Gray? be a good opportunity to see how well, they can use the uh, new player on in Loveskovic. Plenty of height. Very tall. Melly will have a job on her hands to Given to the balls as the Siskio is uh, bundled over by Montenegro, who was running through. So far, both set piece opportunities for Uni have uh, been a little short. That's a nice ball in the path of the Scipio, but she just couldn't bring it down. It was a tough ball to bring under control.
Robinson has to go long. Smith, Westwell on the tight space. Here's Moore now. Plays it into the path of Fedakowski, who's called for being offside. I mean, it's a wonderful save, regardless, by Giovanna Vidal. I'm not too sure if it was Petkovsky who was called for the offside, or perhaps more in the build-up. It had been Petkovsky, the one that had been called. But the uh, offside were a little hard done by, but in the end it wouldn't have mattered as... Uh, Save from Vidal was wonderful. <coughs> Dale goes all the way back to uh, her keeper. Here's Gray now. She goes long. So Negro manages to uh, get it under control, but she's uh, hounded by Souza. Covers. Will be a ball's throw. Sousa can't bring under control. Here's Lekev Levatkovic. Goes long up to Petkovic, who's onside. Gray's got some work to do. Petkovic is there, but Gray just got there. Long legs, able to sweep the ball away and keep it in for a throw rather than a corner. away from Volkanovski. Gray covers. As far as Puxty. Pitch has done uh, well to turn. Do so. That's a nice uh, bit of work from Decipio to go back to uh, Robinson who then just hoists away. Here's Sousa now. That's a uh, Melly out wide, didn't use up. He's had a couple of kicks at it. Isn't punished though by Lavaskovic. Volkanovski switching it across to Siskia, but she can't find Souza. Alira, lovely ball into the path of Lavaskovic, but she can't bring it under her, her stride. from Smith once again made sure that the uh, home side came away with the ball Vale's under pressure and she got the ball through there and referee blew the whistle almost immediately so the advantage wasn't played switch it out now to Millie you can bring it forward Luchmeyer flag stays down still with Luchmeyer it's got that yard of pace, but Schizio gets it across, and there's just uh, no one in the vicinity there to just nick that on. Robinson was out well. Petkovic now into the path of Lafeskovic. Bravely done by Giovanna Vidal. Excellent work again from the keeper. Had to be brave, had to be reactive. Souza does well, here's Rose. Schmeier, Scipio just can't flick it on, it's Puxy there again. 
Janowski still running strongly. At the back there by the Bulls, and then Christopher tries to take it on. Perhaps Buddy shouldn't let it roll out for a throw. Gray up to Naimi. That's a nice touch. Again, the ball, the build up just hasn't been good enough today. Robinson doesn't find a pass, it only goes as far as Melly who can bring it forward. Schmeyer's onside, it's rolled it into her. Here's Lushmeyer's got a yard of pace. Here's Lushmeyer for 1 1. Great across to Naimi who taps it in. And there was that build up that they needed. It's almost like they were listening to the constructive criticism. And after finding their way back into this game, they finally have the reward to show for it. It's arguably their two breakout stars and their two best performers today in Amber Luchmeyer and Daniela, Daniela Naimi. Oh, there's a poor giveaway there by. Christopher and his Sicipio is called for offside in the end to her blushes are spared. She sends a shot flying over the crossbar. No sooner had I started the explanation of the previous goal, the Bulls almost had another. Here's Mullins. Montenegro back is that roaming position, but she loses out to Sousa. And here's Decipio one on one here with Humphrey. Still Decipio ball into the path of Luchmeyer, cuts it back onto her right foot, but it's Humphrey who comes across and covers. Now Smith goes long into Petkovsky but she can't find Toby and here's Naomi the goal scorer nice ball Decipio is on side here Butchmeyer is in the middle she goes across the face of goal oh it's a wonderful effort still here with Rose who gets it towards the penalty spot but it's just shanked high in the air Decipio moments away and inches away from a marvellous finish to give her side the lead. All the momentum now with the away side. Here's Naimi. Gets it across. Here's Decipio again. She can't just flick it towards the goal. It was a marvellous strike from the striker who was being in amongst everything today for the Bulls attack. just thundered it off the inside of the crossbar couldn't get it to bounce over the line the bounce then spurred away from Luchmeyer who was coming in and then the uni side were able to clear comes Gray, she just storms into space. She's got heaps and heaps of room to move into. Nice header from Puxty to 
make sure that did go over to Naimi. Nicely worked from if Smith out to Christopher. Novaskovic can't be found though. And now Melly tries to go forward but can't find the Scipio. Mullen steps in. D'Souza tries to reverse pass it to Petkovic but doesn't find her. Now it's a lit. Toby into Smith. Still Smith. Now Toby eventually gets it out wide. With Toby. And then her pass is overcooked. Well, it is now anyone's game here, but one might think that the momentum and that pendulum has swung heavily towards the away side's favour as they make a change here, the uni team. Cassandra Christopher is off to be replaced by Elisa Delpane. I like for like swap it right back. to bring it forward heavy touch lovely roll of the feet from Smith who went for goal in the end maybe not her initial attention but certainly gave Vidal something to be momentarily concerned about but it did go well over the crossbar in the end Turns away really nicely and gets it out to Melly. Here come the balls again with Melly into Lutzmeyer. Misses it, breaks Kylie to Rose. Doesn't go out wide to Naimi and then just goes all the way back. Here's Vale. Out to Melly. Deflected out for a throw. There's Lutzmeyer again, just can't bring it down and it falls over. And now Mullins brings it clear. Out to Laveskovic. He's got some space to move into. Finds Mullins. Nice touch. Lovely roll of the uh, ball through the legs. This will spin into play. And kept in. Now that cross will come through. Gray is strong in the air. Mullins still going. Will it ever break to a uni player? No, it won't. It does now, though. Humphreys from distance, but it's just a little wide. Referee will stop play for the two players who had a coming together, a bit of friendly fire. Ray storms forward. Okonoski now plays it back so the ball goes direct again this breaks kindly and now it's Sousa, the advantage is played and then it's brought back for the free kick referee deemed that there was uh, nothing on, Sousa had rows in acres of space in the centre of the park, chose not to feed it to her colleague now we're going to get a yellow card here, it looks like, to the uh, coaching staff for the Bulls. Bit of badge, back chat, and then a wave of the hand. Perhaps not happy. Well, the referee's gone back here. Words still haven't been finished. Often is the case. The referee does have the final say. Load up the box here, the balls. It's a slow uh, free kick. The referee 
taking a couple of notes down. And now we get underway. Gray to hoist it into the 18-yard uh, box, but it's Montenegro who heads away very nicely. And then he's there to clear away on the second attempt. Near Smith. Oh, that is a lovely ball. And Levaskovic is there, but Vidal is there to nudge it away. That took a deflection, and it'll be a throw. Well, no, that was definitely a, definitely a throw for the uh, away side there. They missed that one there, the officials. The game continues, though. It doesn't work out in the end because the balls do bring it away, and Rose does brilliantly. Discipio is well offside, unfortunately, though. underway here it's turned into a little bit of uh, madness in the last couple of minutes oh that is a nice flick on and then Gray just has to hoist it in the air Vidal catches it gratefully and now Lovaskovic is down holding her back head. Mullins can't win it as Sousa just nods it on. Here's Naimi. One on one with Montenegro. Gets it across. Schmeier's there. It's Sousa. Then it's Schmeier. She can't keep it in. The frame of the goal. She was reaching for it. <laughs> Agonisingly close. Ball still can't find that telling touch to put themselves in front which is uh, on the balance of play what the second half has deserved Giveaway. Lushmeyer could go to goal here, but doesn't. Puxty gets it away. Souza into the path of Naimi. Who's on side? Scipio and Lushmeyer there. Puxty, who's been so, so good today for Uni, there to clear for a, away for a corner. to take. The corners have been hard to deal with. They've dealt with them so far. Uni, Volkanovski, all the way there. Luchmaya, and tapped in, but no. A push in the back on the goalkeeper is called. And we won't have our third goal for the afternoon. Hard to tell what happened there in amongst a crowd of players, but the referee deemed that the gloves were pushed. There is a substitution here for Uni. Alira Toby is off. And replaced by another attacking player. Naomi. Oh, nice turn. Still Naomi. She goes as an effort, but it's uh, won't challenge Robertson in goals. The substitution on was uh, Karina Medaglia. I should say Medaglia. Oh, 
hoisted high by Vidal. Volkanovski tries to touch it on, can't do so. Murphy goes long. Snoop is on side here. Oh, here's an opportunity for the new player just on. Laviskovic! Oh, Vital again! Sensational between the sticks! Wonderful save! More! Atu Medagliav and Chikar keep it in. And what could have easily have been a uni lead swiftly denied again by Giovanna Vidal who's had a monstrous game for the away team. She was caught out at the, with the first goal. A wonderful strike which was right into the roof of the net. Not much she could have done about it. But since then she's pulled off two or three marvellous saves to keep her side level. So, all clearance from Gray. Uni get the throw. Just over 10 minutes remaining here. Does Uni win a free kick? Volkanovski gets in the way. Now Rose can break. Goes to Decipio. But Robinson's out early to deal with it. Poor giveaway from Vale. Laveskovic finding Petkovsky! Oh. Wasn't to be again. The uni is we get a, another substitution. Alyssa Rose is coming off. Corey is coming on. <laughs> Be a bull's throw again. out and Corey losing the ball and then eventually conceding a free kick Sousa's going to get a yellow card for time wasting and then the ball's going to get brought back for the correct restart because now the referee has to jot the details down in his pocket book and then Butch Meyer had to be wary it's a corner here for Uni they run across to take it here's Lovescovich who lays it back now it's Mullins Foster on Negro who has to be careful here keeps it away into the path of Medaglia who can't get the ball across and then it's hoisted away from Danger by Gray. It's Robinson has to be very careful as Decipio was right on her tail. Gray steps up well. Which Myers on side has taken a telling touch. Decipio's going to try and get there first, but Robinson was out early. Really in touch from Puxty again because if that hadn't happened. That was going straight to Luchmeyer, who was bearing down on goal. Gray with a clumsy challenge, goes straight into the back of Petkovsky. Here's Murphy now. Oh, in 
Vincent Montenegro. Tries to go around Gray. Shrugs off the challenge. Got to the byline. Gray. Bulls players calling for a goal kick. Saying it had gone out of play. And Chris says no. Again, going right down to the wire now. That's soft and they get away with it there, Uni. And a free kick is given on Smith. Now the Bulls bring it forward. Well, he's got room to work in. Goes to Luchmeyer. Is onside. Has players in the middle. Manages to fashion some sort of cross, but can't get an end product on it. Mikovic can't break as well for Uni. The Bulls will start again. Corey doing really well. Making the right call there. Ball was not in an unnatural position. Allows the play to continue. Which Meyer hooks it forward, but only as far as Robertson. Goes long. Good header though from from Melly. Goes again. Is Vale. Souza. Tries to flick it on. Again, there's a call for handball. Isn't given on that occasion. Souza wins it back off Puxty. Volkanovski dinks it over to Naimi, who will probably keep this in. The ball is rolling fast towards the uh, corner flag. But Montenegro steps up and wins the battle. It's been a great contest out there. And now Moore's got acres of room to move into. Decides to cut back and just reset. Buxty can't find the substitute in Medaglia. Smith goes long. Vidal tries to uh, get a little tricky with it. It works out in the end as Koski wasn't close enough to uh, pounce on the error. Here's Mullins now. Goes long. Isn't going to get it over Gray though. Corey can't keep it under control. Gets it back though from Melly to Luchmeyer. Trying to wiggle the way through, and now they're going to get the uh, call here. It's going to be called handball to uh, the Bulls here. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware of that. I thought it had touched uh, Luchmeyer's hand, but there was plenty of uh, arms being waved around there. It could have touched uh, any of the players' hands. It's worked out in favour of the Bulls. This would be a great opportunity for them to uh, work something. Volkanovski stands over it. She dinks it towards the goal. Puts the pressure on, but Robertson's out really well. Collects comfortably. And now, uni break. Puxy steaming forward. Shoot Medaglia out wide. Uses her, and then the flag goes up. Well, that's really, really disappointing for the home side. Douglier as well, who could see the line as she's running down it. To be caught there for offside is a real coach killer. Balls escape what could have been a really good opportunity for Unis to strike late. Tonego flicks that on. Robinson will keep it in.
been too many stoppages to talk about as well, so there won't be much added on at the end of this. Is De Scipio now. Lays it off Daimi, tries to find Souza in the middle, can't do so. Montenegro now. Tries to burst away, can't do so. Volkanovski goes out to Naimi, Puxty comes across. And then a uh, free kick is called for the Bulls. Foul on Volkanovski by Montenegro. Will we see one last goal? Both sides have had their chances. None of them have been able to take it in the final 15 to 20 minutes of this match. Volkanovski over it again. Wars opposes Butch Meyer, who just uh, dinks it off. Gray, Di Scipio. Well won. Belly almost found a way through as the pass back by Alpane was a little short. As we uh, get a substitution, the goal scorer, Naimi, is coming off. Olivia Lisiak. And here's another late opportunity for the Bulls via the set piece. Here goes Gray now. All the way to the back post. Robertson's out there to claim. Referee he doesn't give it a free kick to the keeper. Deems to have spilled it. Now can the uh, Uniside break? Lavaskovic can't bring it down. Veiled as well to step up. Gray tries to find Corey, but can't do so. She's just a bit flat footed and she's coming back on side. Long throw into Volkanovski. Brings it down well. Harassed by Moore. Fail. Beats a couple of tackles. Well, it does well to win the ball, and now she's got time to bring it forward. Options left and right into the path of Butchmeyer. That will probably just roll a little too deep. <laughs> the legs of the uh, Butchmeyer just not as fresh as they were 20 minutes ago when she slotted the ball across for Daniela Naimi for the. Equalising goal. We are now at uh, the full 90 minutes done. I don't think there'll be much added on. Souza now. Nicely worked. Luchmeyer can't bring it down. Despite that one moment, she hasn't had the service that she would have hoped for. Bit of time to go. Referee looks at his watch. Hasn't reached for the whistle yet. Yeah, it's a big call. Probably the correct one. Alpane had broken through. And now Mullen storms into space. Dinks it across all the way to the back post. Moore's there. Goes back to Smith. Rolls a couple of times. Does really well to evade. Three or four challenges. Here's Montenegro now. Nice ball into the path of the substitute, but Gray is there to clear away. Only as far as Montenegro, though. Still going. Here's Moore. She can't uh, break the clear. Switches it across now. Dalpane 
has an effort on goal, but it's just uh, too high. Worth an effort. It's the Bulls players don't come out to Greedo and block the shot. Referee puts the whistle in the mouth. I think it's about to be blown here. The full-time whistle. You would think after this uh, goal kick is taken. And like a fortune teller, the referee does blow full-time on what has been an intriguing contest between two sides. Evenly matched from start to finish. Union New South Wales deservant leaders in the first half after a stellar first 45 but it was again that old fable that it is a game of two halves not one and it was the away side the Bulls FC team that came out firing and they did get their goal via Daniela Naimi in the second half to equalize and bring the two sides level but that was all that we saw after that chances at both ends denied by some brilliant goalkeeping by Tiana Robertson for the uni team and Giovanna Vidal for the Bulls and neither side could be separated they both remain undefeated to start the new season but they can't be separated here quick roll of the tape for you once again just to finish off goals to Alira Toby in the first half for uni and a goal to Daniela Naimi in the second half of the Bulls to finish this game. University of New South Wales Football Club 1, Bulls Football Club 1. We'll see you next week. Thank you for your time once again, everybody. Enjoy your weekends. This has been Domizito for Football New South Wales, official YouTube channel and the National Premier League Women's Competition. Have a very good night.